Our uh, veterinary program is unique in a number of ways, but um, our curriculum is one where students spend two years in the classroom and um, a didactic environment, and then they follow that with two full years in our teaching hospital and affiliated sites around the state. Most notably, we have the Animal Emergency and Referral Center in Flowood, Mississippi, and that facility is very busy, uh, small animal emergency clinic. Additionally, students have opportunities to visit a couple of diagnostic labs. We have the Mississippi Veterinary Research and Diagnostic Lab and the Poultry Diagnostic Lab in Pearl. We have an aquatics diagnostic lab in the Mississippi Delta in Stoneville. And then students can also visit a facility we have on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. We're in Gulfport, Mississippi, and we are part of the Gulf Coast Aquatic Health Lab. We are part of the pathology rotation at, um, in the College of Veterinary Medicine. So all students now rotate through here for two days. It's funded by a grant that we received, and the students primarily focus on doing necropsies on cetaceans, dolphins primarily, and then we work with sea turtles doing all of the medical needs, whether it be diagnostic, whether it be procedures that need to be done, in addition to all the rehabilitation aspects uh, for the medical health of those sea turtles. All of our vet students get to experience uh, marine animal health as part of the core curriculum. And really, we have the most number of contact hours of aquatics of any vet school going from first year all the way through to fourth year. Watching the students be able to say, hey, here's a dolphin or a turtle they have never seen before, they've never touched before, um, being able to watch them interact with them is really exciting for them to be able to have that experience and that's something that stays with them regardless if they go into aquatics after graduation or not. Just being able to help dolphins swim and hold them while they're weak and not being able to swim on their own has been really rewarding um, and seeing them be able to get better and rehabilitated is very rewarding. I'm really thankful for my exposure to the marine mammal side of veterinary medicine and thanks to this lab services rotation and I think it has brought to me an awareness of how veterinarians can impact things like the environment and save wildlife as well. We're at the Animal Emergency and Referral Center in Flowood, Mississippi. Our purpose here is threefold. One is to educate students, first and foremost. Second is to service the local practitioners, taking care of their patients after hours and for specialty treatments. And the other is to service the people of the Jackson Metro area with emergency and referral services. We are a fourth year, um, two week clinical rotation. Um, the DVM students rotate through our hospital year round. They spend two weeks here. Majority of their time is with emergency. Um, they spend a little time with uh, the rehabilitation service, the surgery service, and some with the optho and dermatology as well. Um, we also have the, the veterinary technology students come through and they spend a week here um, as a part of their final year as well. While students are here, they get to experience somewhat more of a clinic setting uh, than a hospital setting like uh, the College of Veterinary Medicine Animal Health Center. And while they're here, we don't have interns, we don't have residents, so it's all hands-on. So they really get to experience uh, the case from beginning to end. So it's more like what they would see when they get out and take a job in private practices almost. So we're actually located in the Jackson Metro area, very, very busy area. You know the largest populated part of our state in Mississippi. Uh, we see a large variety of cases from routine emergencies to the most insane referral case you could ever think of. And so a large variety of surgical cases, our students get to see everything from the most basic foreign body removal to a very complicated surgical repair. I've loved my time here at the Animal Emergency and Referral Center in Flowood. Um, it's been an amazing experience. I loved it so much. I got so much experience that I decided to come back and do an advanced clinical rotation. This has helped me become so much more prepared because they're like, all right, this is the case. What do you want to do? How do you want to work it up? And we get to make those clinical decisions together. So it's a very good for right before I graduate and trying to, you know, 
get those clinical experiences. In this facility, we have the Mississippi Veterinary Research and Diagnostic Laboratory and the Poultry Research and Diagnostic Laboratory. The Mississippi Veterinary Research and Diagnostic Laboratory is in charge of different species, uh, mammalian species, uh, equine, swine, uh, small, small animals. The Poultry Research and Diagnostic Lab um, sees uh, any birds, um, anything with feathers, so that would be poultry and other uh, bird species. Here at the Aquatic Research and Diagnostic Lab in Stoneville, Mississippi, we are based in the Delta Research and Extension Center. So we are servicing basically the catfish industry, which is the largest aquaculture industry in the United States. Our students go through the full four years without going through a tracking process and we value that. We feel like we want our graduates to be well-rounded and be able to enter really any career field that they desire. And so the amount of elective experiences that our students get to participate in really allows for them to, to track if they wanted to. And many of our students will leave our campus and go out on what we call externships, where our students visit practices where they get, again, hands-on experience. If you find that you really like a certain rotation or you just feel like you would like some more time to learn more about something that maybe is a weak point for you, then you can do what's called an advanced clinical rotation or an ACR, which allows you to come back to the rotation and to repeat an additional two to four weeks on that rotation where you can get additional training and experience in that specialty. So for example, I did a um, radiology ACR where I actually got to perform Perform ultrasounds so you're able to actually get the um, ultrasound probe in your hand and perform the ultrasounds yourself and kind of get a feel of what that looks like in practice. We also have opportunities that we call enhanced clinical practicums. With these opportunities the college has uh, made arrangements with about 70 practices here in the United States and we visit that practice and we ensure that the teaching opportunities there are standardized and of high quality. I think the ACP was a really good experience because we were able to go out in the real life and get the experience with another point of view with other doctors that are practicing small animal anesthetics in my case and I was able to communicate with clients which is a really big aspect in this profession. I was able to see many species do procedures that I wouldn't have done before. Because there's so much time for externships and experiences off campus, uh, I was able to really explore a lot of different career paths, a lot of the non-traditional veterinary medicine outside the cat and dog and horse and cow medicine things, uh, public health, uh, international infectious disease things. I worked with the United Nations. I worked with the United States Department of Agriculture. I really got to push the limits on uh, the different opportunities you can do as a veterinarian. I came into vet school convinced I actually wanted to do equine medicine. And then as I went along in vet school, I realized there's a wide array of opportunities for veterinarians. And actually in my third year, I got the opportunity to do an advanced clinical rotation that took me all the way over to Zambia. And I got to do aquaculture research in Zambia for an entire month as part of my vet school training. It was absolutely incredible and it opened my eyes to the wide world of opportunities available for veterinarians out there. And it ends up that even though I absolutely loved that experience, loved the people, loved learning so much more about research, I did end up going a completely different direction again and I'm going into emergency medicine. So we've been really fortunate to be able to have a lot of international opportunities that we can involve students in. For example, um, we've got a partnership that we established with the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization in Rome, Italy. So we've been able to place students in countries such as Vietnam, Togo in Africa, South America. We offered a tropical veterinary medicine and one health study abroad in Uganda opportunity, which is open to undergraduate, veterinary, and graduate students. And it's a three-week course in Uganda where they get to do a lot of hands-on experiential learning in tropical animal health, production animal health, uh, one health, wildlife health. They also get to do that while infusing multicultural experiences. So we got to do a lot of things while we were in Uganda. We got to work with um, different uh, livestock species. We got to 
experience a culture of another country, which I, I, I thought that was that was pretty neat. And being able to experience new foods, new um, new languages, new ways of life of a different culture, this was a great opportunity. The building blocks I got and the foundation I got at Mississippi State allowed me to function very, very strongly as I went out into the world and worked at that complex interface of health as we try to go after those grand challenges of the world and, and how we're going to help improve it for the future.